welcome back to my channel and again this is Wacky Jackie and thank you for watching some of the videos that I've made before and today um, today we're gonna be doing another unboxing video for uh, for the feeders that I gave to my Beard of Dragons and but yeah there they are uh, that's uh, Rap and Jean there over there Anyway, so this time it's gonna be something different because uh, this is the first time that I bought this uh, this insect, this feeder for them, and this is gonna be the first time that they're gonna try it, and I hope they would like it. Surprise, surprise! Guess what it is. There you go guys, uh, you've seen it, it's a uh, block fly, yeah, that's shit, I forgot, <laughs> um, block, yeah. uh, block soldier fly larva, so, I am um, Asia, um, Yes, I've been hearing about this in the uh, exotic community. I've been seeing it in the exotic community, in the bearded dragon community, and they say that it's good because um, the acid amino acid, yeah. And this BFS larva, um, they help in growth for uh, for our pets, for our exotic pets. Well, well technically, uh, they have this. I forgot what they call it, but I'll just put it somewhere here, and that helps them grow. Um, also, compared to superworms, uh, BFS larva is um, has a lower um, lower fat content, so mas matagas yung protein niya compared to sa fat niya. And I'm not sure if it's advisable to. Um, for this to be a staple diet for our bearded dragon, but bearded dragon needs varieties of vegetables, insects, so as much as possible, they, they need to eat variety. They, 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 need, they need to have some variety on their diet. So right now, um, I'll be giving this to them, introducing this to them, and um, of course, aside from that, I'm giving them super worms, dubia roaches, and some vegetables as well. And also, um, uh, just a tip: this may sound, this may sound uh, kind of harsh, but whenever I introduce something new uh, to my bearded dragon, when I uh, when I introduce new food to them. Uh, what I do is, um, let's say I'm gonna be introducing a new insect to them. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'll be feeding them um, two days before I introduce that specific uh, food. So I'll be feeding them full two days. <clears throat> um, then the day after that, uh, there won't be anything, just water, and then sunod na yun na give them the food that you're gonna be introducing and yes, mainit mo naman kasi mainit so ayun uh, hindi ko alam kung tama ba yun pero bearded dragon can last a day, a week without a food but huwag natin abusuhin yun um, ayun nga, pero the way I see it, how, how they would eat 
that food is um skip a day na hindi sila kakain and then probably the next day pag pinakain mo sa kanila yun, well they have no choice kasi gutom sila but hindi, hindi naman um uh, basta may explanation dun eh I, I'll try to research about it and put it on another uh, on a different uh, video para at least may video dedicated for that anyway so there you go uh, you've seen the black source of fly that I bought and um, uh, thank you for the nice deal I have two cups two tubs uh, for the price of one kasi naka promo so buy one take one nice parang watsons ah na nabudol budol ako <laughs> anyways ayun nga um, so one way to find out if they would like it or not and here we go So 